guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we are looking at my fighting type deck so let's just get started so first we have a him on lee I put him on lee in because of his mega kick attack next we have Passimian I put Passimian in here because of his hit points next we have a stone journer I put him in here because he did 70 damage and also his hit points Next we have a Diglett. I put him in here because he's the pre-evolution to Doug Trio. Next we have a Doug Trio. I put him in here because of his earth, um, earthquake attack. Next we have a Groudon. I put Groudon in here because of because he's the pre-evolution to Primal Groudon. Next we have a Primal Groudon. I put Primal Groudon in here because of his um Giga Volcano attack, which says if you um if there's a stadium card in play, this attack does 100 more damage. But then you have to discard the stadium. Next, we have a Gligar. I put him in here because he's the pre evolution of Glysaur. Next, we have a Glysaur. I put Glysaur in here because of his poison jab attack, which um, does 70 damage and poisons your, um, your opponent's Pokemon. Next, we have a Zygarde. I put Zygarde in here because of his Cell Storm attack, which does 60 damage and heals 30 damage from each um, from your this Pokemon. Next, we have a Bronzor. I put Bronzor in here because uh, he's the pre-evolution of Bronzong. I put Bronzong in here because he's the um, because he has um, because of his heat proof ability. Because he's weak to fire types, um, fire type attacks have no has no effect. Next, we have Glorian Stunkfisk. I put him in here because of his um, Snap Trap ability, which um, says if you. As soon as it gets attacked, um, you you get to pick what um, uh, energy to discard from that po from the Pokemon that it you attack that it attacked that attacked it. Next, we have a Registeel. I'll put it I put it in here because of his Iron Hand attack. Next, we have Bronzong Bron Pondward. I put him in here because he's the pre-evolution to Bisharp. Here's Bisharp. I put him in here because of his slicing bull because of his change order attack, which says each Pokemon um it does thirty damage times um times the amount of um, Pokemon on your bench. Next we have a Lickitung. I put it two copies of Lickitung actually. I put it in here because of his continuous lick attack. Next we have a Lolan Geo dude. I put it in here because he's the pre-evolution to a Lolan Graveler. Next, we have a Lowland Graveler. I put him in here because of his Electro Slug attack, and also he um does, also he he's a pre-evolution Golem, or Lowland Golem to be exact. Next, we have a Lowland Golem. I put him in here because he because of his Heavy Slam attack. Next, we have Rescue Stretcher. I put it in here because let's just say like we have a because, let's just say we had like a dead Pokemon, so we just shuffle into our deck from the discard pile. So. Next, we have two Great Balls. I put him, put it in here because let's just say, like we have like a really good Pokemon in the top seven um, cards in my deck, so we just do that and boom, and then we get to get that Pokemon inside our hand. Next, we have a Pokédex. So let's just say, um, so let's just say we um have um so like we have good Pokemon inside my inside like the um. Inside like the first five, so then I can just rearrange that inside any order. Next, we have a potion. I put it in here because um, let's just say like one of our Pokemon are about to die, and then we can just heal thirty damage from it. So next, we have a full heal. I put it in here because um, let's just say like um, like inside Venusaur and Salivite's Pollen Hazard attack, it gives you all three special conditions, almost all three. So um, so so now it can just cure it by the, with this. Next, we have a metal core barrier. I put it in here because let's just say like um we have a metal type or steel type that's about to die from like a, and it only has like seventy health left. So if we attach it he to that steel type, and um so um and it so then it prevents seventy damage to be done to it. So next we have two copies of heavy ball. I put it in here because let's just say like we have a primal ground on and we're about to lose. So um, I could just get that Zygarde EX and like yeah. So next we have a professor's letter. I put it in here because um because fighting types 
um, have a high retreat cost. I mean, um, have a high um, attack cost. So, so because of that, um, I can do this and get all those energies that I need. Next, we have a Lumberry. Let's just say, like, we just got attacked by Venusaur and Syllabi's um, Pollen Hazard attack. So if this is attached to it, it um, you heal all of those special conditions, but then you um, dis um, but then you discard this card. Next, we have a Brock Grit. I put it in here because of it, because um, let's just say we have like six really good cards inside inside the discard pile, and we need more energies from it. So yeah, so we just do that and shuffle them back into my deck. Next, we have a Shauna. I put it in here because um, let's just say we have a really bad hand, and then we can just um, draw those amount of cards five cards next we have a Molane. so let's just say like um so we discard two steel type cards and then we could shuffle a trainer card from our discard pile into our deck so that's really good next we have a skyla i put in here because let's just say like we're out almost out of energy cards in our hand so then we play this and then we get the professor's letter and then we play the professor's letter so that works next we have a buff padding i put buff padding in here because you know how fighting types have really high retreat cost so um so that so because of that you attach this there and then it gets 50 plus health because then it can survive inside the battlefield longer next we have a brock grit i put in here because actually i already told you this so next we have a tier no so it just draw three cards so yeah then we have a bunch of cows it's basically the same exact thing as um tier no so next we have a Brooklet Hill. I put it in here because um, let's just say we need like that Primal Groudon. So we just do that and boom, we get the Primal Groudon. Next we have a, the Lieutenant Turgis strategy. So let's just say we're like losing with less prize cards. So um, so we could play three supporter cards, including this card because of this card. Next we have Metal Goggles. So let's just say like, um, so um, like we attach this to like a steel type and then um, now it could take 30 less damage. So now we have five fighting type energies, and all the rest. And then we have eight steel type energies, a electric type energy, a double colorless energy, and a triple acceleration energy. So that was my review on my um on my fighting deck that I just constructed. So yeah, so please like and subscribe to, um, for more content like this. And until then, I will see you guys later.